Hi, I'm Sean. Hold on. Uh, hi, I'm Sean, and uh, I'm from uh, CCIC, which is the Conference of China I German Community. And I am currently the people in charge of this entire community. And uh, today my topic is about like from meetup to community. It's briefly about the uh, I German community history in China. So uh, as I say again, we are Conference of China I German Community. We are open, neutral, supportive, and nonprofit organization. And uh, actually, our structure is a bit, uh, bit uh, complicated when people talk about CCIC. Uh, usually, people refer to the executive committee, and sometimes we refer to the entire uh, conference. So it's actually like this. Uh, usually, we hold uh, at the very beginning. This is uh, this was a meetup uh, in Central China. And uh, from time to time, which is means uh, from uh, when iGEM canceled the regional jamboree, and then people uh, people in China found more important to get a place before they go to Boston to like discuss with each other uh, to find out problems of their own project, their others' project, seek for collaboration before that. So um, this conference grow and grow from a small uh, like regional conference to a national wide conference. And later on, we found out that um, to run a nationwide conference is uh, we need a actual team to run this by organizing who will be hosting it uh, and how much uh, we will cost and buying all those materials and inviting all the speakers. So um, from the fourth uh, conference of high German community, we set up a structure like this, which is the uh, we had a uh, hold on. we had a uh, representative congress. Uh, it's mainly all the uh, high Germans in China. Uh, they will choose who will be hosting the national wide uh, meetup every year. And we, for me, in the uh, CCIC executive committee, uh, we are actually um, kind of uh, following uh, what people choose and to uh, create a link between the host and the all the iGermers and helping the host to successfully held up this uh, meetup every year. So uh, this slide is like, uh, the increasing number of our uh, community. Uh, the very beginning, the very first one was in 2014. Uh, at that time, uh, the teams in China, uh, in, in Greater China region, uh, was just exceeding uh, 60 teams. And now we are reaching a number of something like 130 teams every year. And so does the CCIC every year. Our coverage uh, increased every year. Uh, last year, there were actually, okay, we can see in the graph is that we got like a 130 um, teams in greater China region, but actually about for like a, there were only about a like hundred, uh, a hundred uh, undergraduate teams in, in this area and some of the, them are high school teams. So our conference is mainly, uh, mainly participated by all those uh, undergraduates. And in recent year, there are more like high school white German came in. So last year our coverage was uh, about like 70% of the teams in Greater China region, which means our uh, participated teams were like 70 last year. And this year, even under the background of the global pandemic, we still achieved to like make, um, there were about 70 teams sign up and some of them will do presentation and some of them will not. So uh, <clears throat> this is the first, the very first year of this, uh, of the conference, of the meetup. Uh, it was in 2014 in HCAU, which is the, uh, the very first one. And then 2015, it was in Peking University. Uh, uh, 2016 in Samyasam uh, University, 
and 17 in Fuzhou, and 18 in Shanghai, 19 in Shenzhen. And this one was like, I was in charge and you can see the shirt is the one I'm wearing right now. And the seventh one is coming in a few days. I believe some of you might just sign up. And if you haven't, you can scan the QR code right here. Uh, we have a website for our conference to, um, to, uh, to like, to check on. So I like mainly in, uh, in the, uh, national annual national wide meetup. Uh, we usually do things quite, uh, some of them are quite similar to Jamboree because the, uh, the initial goal of this conference was to help people in, in, in our region, in the great, uh, greater China region to prepare for the Jamboree and to uh, find collaboration and to seek uh, any uh, help from other teams something like that. So we have uh, presentations, we got poster sessions, uh, and beyond that, we got judges last year. Uh, we create an entire judging system um, with um, all the members together. And then we got workshop, we got lectures from uh, synthetic biology fields or people from industry or people from humanities as well to discuss some, uh, some like, uh, legal problems or ethnical problems with students or like future synthetic biologists. Um, like uh, be, beyond that, we also have some like fun activities at night. Uh, uh, like we invite some band here to play some synthetic music. Uh, also, we got some like uh, painting walls for people to right on, uh, quite similar to what we had in Jamboree. But uh, this was just like the meetup part. And uh, from 2017, we found out that uh, with the growing number of China IGM community, uh, there might be some other activities we could do to help others during the entire year of uh, IGM preparation. So there were lots of um, activities launched from that year to help people uh, beyond the conference itself. So uh, we have live streams on Bilibili, which is uh, which is quite uh, kind of like a YouTube. So in, in China, so uh, we invite uh, all iGemmers and we invite some previous judges or like people in different communities. And of course, uh, Dorothy were participated in several of them. I actually had one, I uh, had a live stream uh, with Dorothy when we were both in Edinburgh. And uh, usually we talk about like how to set up a team, how to begin the entire session, or we set up thing like a, how to make a good poster, how to finish your human practices, and, and remind all the team that human practices is in plural form, no, not in single form. Or we got like a, uh, like preparing for Jamboree uh, to make sure that your presentation don't exceed the time, to make sure that uh, you arrive on, on, on the site on, site, on, on time, or remind you to get some food when, when, when the uh, food in, the, in that place is, uh, when, when the food in the in the Jamboree side is terrible, yeah, and uh, I think also we we have some others like uh, uh, discuss our uh, like our previous iGem um, experience together. Uh, so the live stream were like a, we held it like four or five times every year, and usually we increase them when we need to. Also, we held an online panel with some other. Uh, with some other small organization or individuals. So this was a uh, online panel discussion on Zhihu, which is the uh, Chinese form of Kura. Uh, so we got Regenesis, which is um, one uh, synthetic biology enthusiast who writes a lot about like synthetic biology, about like a, um, about some new, new stuff. 
uh, about about some new papers. And uh, then we got after I jam invited. Uh, actually, after I jam invited us uh, so to this panel, uh, we held it together. And with Drupal, of course, they provided platform. And we discussed a lot of uh, interesting questions that will not be discussed by the uh, on, on the jamboree, such as, um, <clears throat> for example, we, we, we discussed like, if you want to be a synthetic biology in the future, what should you learn? And uh, and there was some discussion about like uh, what happened in the last decade or like what happened in this 20 years of synthetic biology development. Um, and also we did share some IGM experience in the past, like uh, people uh, turned their PCR machine into a fruit ninja playing a video game. And then um, it was a quite a big success to uh, go beyond the competition itself. But like back to the competition in 2017, which is uh, actually, it was a 10 year anniversary for iGEM that came in China. Uh, iGEM came in China in 2007, where, P, uh, where schools like Peking University and Tsinghua University uh, participated and some other school, I believe in that, uh, that year. And Peking won the grand prize that year. So 2017 was actually a 10 year anniversary for the entire like, China iGEM uh, community. So the, so the executive, uh, uh, executive uh, committee at that time held up a uh, activity to make people share their stories on on iGEM in in these ten years. So uh, mainly uh, we did a lot of activities on sharing uh, because sharing from a past iGEMer usually create an atmosphere and. Uh, it, it really get people together when we talk about like uh, doing experiment overnight and found that our colony was fault or like, you know, during the wiki freeze night, how people are struggling. Uh, so those uh, textual resources were on our platform. Uh, if you are interested, you can check it later on. And then, uh, yeah, this is the fun part we did is a, Wiki freeze coffee night uh, because due to the time zone problem, uh, uh, the the EST mid noon is actually midnight in in in, in China. So uh, usually the wiki freeze night for Chinese team uh, started in somewhere like 9 p.m. at the day before, and we will struggle for the whole night. So from 2017 or 18, um, we give out free coffees to teams who, uh, who to the lucky team. So we, we had a draw out and, uh, and, and, and the lucky teams will get a hundred RMB for like, for the budget. It's like a budget for the, every team to buy coffee for their members staying up all night. Uh, this activity has been held for three years and from this year, of course, we do have a wiki freeze again, so we will send out more coffees to the teams. Um, then we create online courses. This is new this year because at the very beginning of the pandemic, we, uh, it was like in, in, uh, in uh, beginning of uh, February, we found that uh, it will be kind, in, kind of impossible for teams to open up in their own school because like school was shut down in China at that time, way before our school being shut down. So um, we found that the teams were walking through a recruitment process and, um, and some of them were lacking for like information, lacking for materials. So our community decided to provide some online courses for the teams. Uh, yes, this program is still continuing and we will put on more uh, courses. Uh, we, we firstly put on things like a basic introduction and then we got things like mathematical modeling and, and some other, other synthetic biology techniques. And also we held a multimedia platform for uh, people to access from different angles on, on, on internet. 
uh, mainly we post things on WeChat. <clears throat> and of course, this year we got a website again. Last year we do have a forum, but like due to some uh, due to some legal problem is that we didn't register very properly. Uh, the forum has been shut down, but uh, oh, <clears throat> but in 2000 and I think it was 18, our forum was set up. And at that time, after I jumped, they want to create a forum. But during our experience, um, we found that the forum is, is not the perfect stuff for this generation. I mean, uh, for the high schoolers or the current on, uh, undergrads, because forum is kind of um, like BBS or kind of thing are, are a bit old for, 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 for these kids. So uh, we kind of gave it up, but we will try to launch another platform for people to talk around or like share this stuff. And also we held a clone it. Uh, it was like a, uh, with, with uh, Janscript. Uh, because we found that uh, molecular cl cloning is one of the biggest struggling people were facing during their IGM experience. And this competition is turning from a successful biology competition into a plasmic construction competition. And that competition turns into a uh, like PCR competition. Uh, so we, 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 try to, we try to contact Janscript to, uh, to make out a very uh, productive and effective protocol uh, for molecular cloning because we, we try to do this in a kind of like interlab way where where uh, teams testing a thing protocol and to find some uh, errors and try to formalize the entire experimental procedures. Uh, however, due to some um, failure in the design, this uh, activity didn't go really, really well. But so we'll try to launch some similar things in the future times and to see what we can do to uh, help the community in a technical ways uh, in, in the future times. And now uh, it's the seventh, it's coming up. And uh, as I said, it will happen in a few days. We, this year, uh, our conference totally, uh, like everything is online. Uh, we do have people, we do have iGemmers, we do got posters online, and uh, we will invite lots of synthetic biology, uh, synthetic biologists, or they are even not synthetic biologists, to introduce your work. And, uh, to, and, and this year, our theme is from lab to fab, which is mainly want to discuss or promote how to use the technology in the lab, how to use the synthetic the, uh, biology papers to do something that actually help the entire society. Uh, so this is about like technology transforming into a real way more than, more than usage. And so we also invite people from venture capitals to share the way in uh, like venture capital site. And also we invite people with, so, uh, with uh, philosophy background or like uh, people in department that making policies to discuss like what will happen uh, during this uh, like techno transforming uh, time. And at, at the very last, I would really like to thank uh, all the members that were or now in the executive committee and all the participants of the, all the CCIC conferences all these years. Uh, without them, we will not reach the site we are now. And even some of them retired. Uh, I'm so really grateful for all these people. And uh, if any of you have any more uh, concerns, suggestions, or seeking for like questions, or seeking for collaboration for intercontinental collaborations, you can send email to this email address to, um, yeah, we can talk about like cook something else, you know. And I think that's all for 
this small presentation and uh, maybe some of you might want to ask some questions about it. Um, yeah, any, 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 any questions? Oh, it's in the chat. Yeah, go on. Uh, uh, please, if you want, I think, I think they can, Dorothy, can they use your microphone or people are a bit shy to, to, to talk? I don't know. It's up to you, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, last year we did, um, we, okay, we do want to include everyone in, in the Great China region. And last year, I think we did invite to Taiwan teams and we, uh, every year we got teams from Hong Kong and Macau. Uh, so, uh, I don't remember the figure for this year. Maybe Li Cheng uh, have any idea about about the actual figure this year. Uh, but yeah, we we are very open to teams uh, outside of mainland, and we even have teams like William and William Mary, like UCL, this team in our conferences. So it's very welcome. Maybe. Um, uh, maybe we can send some more uh, detailed materials to you guys, because in the previous uh, years, uh, due to our uh, public uh, publicity department, um, we we found that it's hard to reach all the all the teams outside outside the outside the influence of WeChat actually, because uh, most of our work done were were done by WeChat. But yeah, uh, we, 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 we can send out more like information to you guys. Uh, I think last year, uh, I think one Taiwanese team, they uh, uh, did flew to Shenzhen and, uh, and, and another one was like, because it was uh, last summer, there was a tension uh, between, between, uh, between each other. So uh, one team gave up, but they, uh, they send out some material of the, uh, their teams. And uh, yeah, we, we will definitely need to do more about this. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe you can leave your email or like, or like uh, send us an email and we'll reply you for like a, how to get in this time. And uh, maybe you can help us to spread this uh, around the community around the uh, around the island. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a great thing. Uh, is there any other questions? Okay, uh, since there isn't any other questions, uh, let's see how do we spend the, uh, okay, for, for like a, uh, oh, can CCI speak for Chinese sergeant? Uh, okay, this is a very interesting question that, uh, uh, that we, we we were we were we were asked several times. Oh, of course, you can share the story. Let me let me. Uh, can. Uh, no, we do. Okay. Uh, I forgot to mention in my presentation is that our uh, executive committee uh, can can actually cannot speak for the entire uh, China teams because. Uh, we can, because because uh, I I've been explaining this before in in the in in the QQ groups, 
uh, people were facing some trouble with financial problems. Uh, it's, it's not a financial problem because they were not facing problems. Because <coughs> it actually, the people in charge of an IGEM team, despite the fact though that it's not the PI, but in, in, in fact, uh, the people that are actually in charge of an IGEM team is their primary investigators. So without their consent, there can be and there cannot be any organization uh, or group of people uh, representing them because uh, they are actually people who run the team, who pay for the team. So uh, we think that this kind of uh, we, we think that this kind of right is actually uh, is is on the PIs. It's on the teachers, or uh, and it's not on the student leaders because student leaders in IGM uh, in the definition from IGM is actually the student who contact with IGM. Um, <clears throat> but uh, for our committee, we are a open and neutral committee. Uh, we are open neutral platform. Uh, so if there is anything like a thing they want to share, they want to like uh, use our platform to send out, we can do that, but we cannot represent any team. Uh, unless every, unless every team, uh, every uh, primary investigators responsible for the team gave the permission to the organization to represent them then we will do the stuff but like uh at the current status and like at the current stage and according to the information we collect from the actual uh people actual pis for actual teachers uh they do not want anyone to represent them and yeah that's what i uh, collect from the people in charge But uh, we, we, we do like a, have uh, several ways, like sometimes uh, we will collect a uh, response from teams. And uh, yeah, we, we, are, we, can, we can share things like when, when they want to hold up a big survey, when they want to hold up a petition letter, uh, that's something we can, we can send out. But like, Back to the original point is that uh, when facing such kind of uh, administrative problems, I think the team should um, think more, more carefully about who is actually in charge and who is responsible for this thing. Uh, this, com uh, this community is very, uh, very wide and every school is facing different problems. So uh, when we are talking about uh, iGEM under this uh, competition structure, um, we still have to uh, use the definition given out by the, by the competition itself rather than creating our own definition. I hope that uh, explain your, some of your uh, some of your uh, questions and concerns. And uh, that was a great question, I, I would like to say, because uh, we were asked several times during these years. And uh, our, our response is quite uh, always the same thing. Any other, other interesting questions or concerns? <clears throat> Why? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that that's a uh, uh, Dorothy. Uh, uh, that that answer is really good. That uh, there are lots of ways to write directly to the headquarters, and uh, sometimes they are not responding uh, like in suddenly 
like some of uh, uh, something uh, delayed for two or three days. But like I, I uh, according to my experience and what I heard from others, <clears throat> they, they, they were like, they, they will always respond to you. And, uh, and also this year, I believe that the headquarter create a Slack channel where people can post uh, different uh, different opinions or concerns or seek for collaboration internationally. And HQ do headquarters do have a account inside it.